Hey guys, welcome back to Wentworth Life and welcome to a brand new ranking video. In today's video, I am going to be ranking the amazing Lou Kelly, a character who I believe was introduced into the show far too late. Love her or hate her, you cannot deny that Lou Kelly definitely livened things up. So, grab yourself a cuppa and let's get started. Okay then, my five Lou Kelly moments. Coming in at number five, and it is Armed Hold Up. So this is where it all began, the first time that we are introduced to Lou Kelly and of course her lover, Reb Keen. Now, it all began with Lou and Reb trying to rob a jeweler's and they make end up making a run for it. But what I loved about this scene, I just loved the way how Lou was fearless, just whipping out a gun, stealing a gun off the other guy and she was just so badass I absolutely loved it and I also loved the scene when they crashed into a car or rather the car crashed into them and then Lou wouldn't leave Reb she was more than willing to go back to prison with her lover and yeah I absolutely loved Lou Kelly from the word go at number four and it is Lou loses a finger now it wasn't exactly a great moment for Lou but the moment where Lou loses a finger with Ali, Lou owns it like a boss. I mean, she was just not scared one little bit and I just loved it. As gross as this scene is, it's brilliant and yeah, it's definitely up there with one of my Lou Kelly moments. At number three, Lou kills Sheila. Oh god, a proper disturbing moment now, but it's a moment that will stick with me forever. It's that disturbing and do you know what? I think when we all knew Lou was going to end up killing Sheila, but I kind of just assumed that she would lash out and she would just beat Sheila to death. A little bit like when Rita beat up Drago, or maybe I was thinking Lou was going to shiv Sheila or slice her throat or something like that. However, this was a lot more disturbing to watch when she forced Sheila to drink that poison and then Lou just sits there and watches Sheila convulse and Throth of the mouth. Oh God, a moment I'll never forget. At number two, Lou's escape attempt. So in the very final ever episode of Wentworth, we've got Lou climb, you know, running across the yard and you know climbing the fence, and she's about to get over the fence before her escape plot is you know stopped by Rita. But nevertheless, I love the moment where the women and then Lou are running through the yard, being chased by the officers. I actually find it quite hilarious. I flipping love it. It's like they're all just being naughty. And then, of course, you know, we've got Lou climbing the fence, and I just thought it was an epic moment. Coming in at number one, declaring yourself top dog. Oh my god, this whole scene, the moment where Lou just completely loses it after killing Sheila in the dining room, telling everyone, including the officers, that she killed Sheila, and that she is going to declare herself as top dog. The whole atmosphere when Lou is starting to lose it, and she's starting to go into this rage, bubbling away, the music is building, and everybody's reactions in this scene is just spot on. I just flip and love this scene. I love the music that they use and yeah, it's definitely one of my favourite ever Lou Kelly moments. Okay, my top three Lou Kelly themed episodes. Coming in at number three, and it is Resurrection Season 8, Episode 1. This is the moment where we first are properly introduced to Lou Kelly. It's her first episode, and I tell you what, I was so I was so mesmerized watching her on screen. I didn't know like when she was being serious and when she wasn't being serious, and I just love that. So yeah, this definitely made the list. At number two. And it is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right now, but is it Requem? 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 I don't know. Uh, season 9, episode 2. And of course, this is the big episode where, you know, Reb has been killed, his body's been taken away, Lou is on the warpath, she finds out that it was Sheila, she then kills Sheila, and then she, it, it ends with her declaring herself as top dog. A flipping fantastic episode. At number 1. 
and it is Legacy Season 9 Episode 10. This is indeed the final ever episode and I had to put this at my number one spot for Lou Kelly themed episodes because Lou is the one who blows up the prison. She also has a big fight scene with Rita and of course we've got her escape attempt. It's just literally a perfect Lou Kelly episode and probably one of the biggest. Okay, my five Lou Kelly quotes. Coming in at number five. You ever talk about Reb like that again? And I will fucking kill ya. Oof, powerful stuff. And this comes from the first ever episode of Lou Kelly, when Lou ends up punching Boomer after Boomer was a little bit disrespectful. I mean, not intentionally, but you know, let's, let's pull it out there. She was a little bit disrespectful and this rattled Lou's cage and this is what she delivered to Boomer. And number four. The path that you're currently on leads to war. A lot of people we know will end up dead. Is that something you want? This is a classic line and I mean, whenever I think of the final season I think of this quote because it was used in a lot of the trailers and the teasers um, before season 9 aired and it's also part of a brilliant scene where Lou is having an intense conversation with Rita. A scene that I could watch over and over again and not get bored. I only wish that the scene went on longer. I flippin' loved it. At number three... You're supposed to have amnesia, so who the fuck did you call nutbusters? <laughs> I love that moment. I just love that line. It's just brilliant. Just when Lou discovers that Joan had been using Lou's phone, but Lou's phone had actually been pinched. It hadn't been pinched by Joan, but Lou didn't know that at this moment in time, and she just went crazy at Joan and delivered this fantastic line. At number two... You touch that alarm and I will blow your tiny whizzing balls off. <laughs> First ever scene of Luke Kelly, and this is part of the armed holdup when she's trying to rob the jewelers with Reb. Absolutely love it. I flipping love it. At number one. Darling, you're not top dog material. You're just a big pair of lips with eyelashes. <laughs> and this, you know, this ended up with Lou nicknaming Ali eyelashes or lips and eyelashes. And I just, I just kind of like loved it. And it's also the moment just before Ali chopped off Lou Kelly's finger. I tell you what, I could probably fill another five of Lou Kelly quotes because she had some really, really good ones. But I think these are the five that first sprung to my mind. Okay, three Lou Kelly storylines that I wish that had happened. Coming in at number three, Lou's history slash backstory. Now, we did get a little bit of Lou's history, in, particularly in season eight, part one, when Lou was in that horrible retreat place with Reb, but... I wanted it to go back further than that. I wanted to know about Lou before she even ever went into Wentworth for the first time. We know that before she even went into prison. I want to learn about her, her history with her family. And this actually leads us on to number two. Lou's relationship with her brother. Now... Do you know what, guys? I'm really gutted that we didn't get to see more of Lou's brother. I think is a Trav, if I got that correctly. Now, he appeared in Season 8, Part 1, and he was quite handsome, I'll be honest with you guys. And I honestly thought we were going to get to see a bit more of him, but we didn't. I don't know whether if that was down to COVID rules when they were filming the final season, but yeah, it's such a shame that we didn't get more of a story or more... Yeah, just more of a storyline with Lou and her brother, because Lou definitely cared for her brother. And coming in at number one, of course, it's got to be a famous Lou Kelly riot. This is one of the things I'm absolutely gutted about that we never got to see um, Wentworth's version of a Lou Kelly riot because in Prisoner Cell Block H, the original Lou Kelly, she went crazy when she was pushed over the edge and she ended up taking the whole prison hostage. Well, more, more or less H block really, but nevertheless, it was absolutely an epic episode. It's one of the episodes, I mean, listen to to this guys prisoner has 692 episodes but everyone remembers episode 600 the lou kelly riot it was absolutely epic outstanding even to this day watching it it's very violent it puts you on the edge of your seat now if prisoner can still do that to this day can you imagine what wentworth's version could have been like oh my goodness i just ah oh, it's one of the things i wish we had got and i thought we were gonna get it in the final season 
season but instead we ended up getting the bomb storyline which is a little bit of a bittersweet thing for me I, on, I, I kind of wish they went down the Luke Kelly riot route there, there still could have been a bomb at the end of it do you know what I mean but yeah really really gutted I hope it comes back one day and we get to see a Luke Kelly Wentworth style riot <laughs> anyway so Luke Kelly sad funny moments coming in at number three I got the fly. <laughs> I couldn't do a, a ranking video on Luke Kelly and not talk about the fly. It is, of course, when Lou ends up smashing a prisoner's head over and over again into this fly that was doing her head in. But I honestly think it was the prisoner that was getting on Luke Kelly's nerves. Absolutely brilliant. And number two laughing gas of course this is the moment where abby puts laughing gas over lou's face and um i don't think it was meant to be a funny scene but it does make me laugh i just love the way kate box is laughing in this scene and it's just brilliant and it always makes me giggle <laughs> at number one reb's death aftermath so when Reb was taken away from Lou, oh my goodness, it was heartbreaking to watch. It was heartbreaking to watch Lou's, the aftermath of it, you know, Lou's crying in the nights and stuff. Like, she's playing this bad-ass character, you know, she, she is a baddie in the show. However, you feel so bad for Lou when she's crying at night time, and it's just, oh, it does make you cry, it really does. I think there's a scene where Lou is crying at Reb's door, you know, Reb's door is being locked for forensics or whatever and Lou is down there crying into the door there's like snot coming out of her nose that is proper proper heartbreaking acting right there for you and uh, yeah it always I always have tears in my eyes okay so I'll fuck marry and kill but a Luke Kelly version okay so Luke Kelly is obviously gonna marry Reb Keen she's obviously gonna fuck Reb Keen. Now, Kill, I kind of got a little bit stuck with because I was going to cheat and say everyone. <laughs> but do you know what? The more I thought about it, I mean, she killed Sheila and she killed Mari um, for, you know, the, the being responsible. And, you know, Mari was like indirectly responsible. And then, you know, Sheila was the one that did it. But it was all people that was stopping Reb from becoming the person that he wanted to be. So the, the only other person that really, really, like, I could think of is Dr. Miller. Dr. Miller would not sign those bloody papers in Season 8 Part 1, and Lou was instructing Joan to try and kill Dr. Miller. So for that reason, and that reason alone, I'm going to shove down Dr. Miller. But don't get me wrong, guys, there are many more people that Lou Kelly would happily kill. What happened next with Lou Kelly? Okay, I would like to think that after Wentworth Correctional Center was rebuilt after the bomb and everyone was transferred back to Wentworth, we would have learned more about Lou's backstory, her childhood, why she is the way she is. I've said in previous videos of how amazing would it have been to have had some intense scenes between Lou and a psychiatrist, maybe even Bridget Westfall, knowing how both her and Red were abused by that horrible doctor in the retreat that they both met at it would have been outstanding now Lou isn't someone who takes shit from anyone however I cannot see the women or even some of the officers letting Lou get away with what happened with the bomb the women would have taken some form of revenge on Lou it wouldn't surprise me if Lou ended up in protection at some point saying that though Judy Bryant was killed in the explosion so there's nothing from stopping Lou blaming everything on Judy. This might sway some people in the prison and it wouldn't surprise me if some still feared Lou Kelly, especially after the explosion. Lou wanted to teach the whole prison a lesson in Season 8 Part 1 and Season 8 Part 2, all in revenge for her lover, Reb Keen. Now, I reckon Lou would now focus on making a plan to get out of Wentworth once and for all. No bombs, no more revenge, just a one-way ticket out of the prison. 
That would be the only way for Lou to have some sort of happy ending. To escape Wentworth, maybe with her brother and escape the country. The only other ending for Lou Kelly, for me in my opinion, is eventually death. But if that were to happen, you can be rest assured it would be one hell of an epic death scene. And I can even imagine Lou's final words being something like, only the good die young, before taking her final breath. One thing that I can say is that Wentworth will always be on its toes with Lou Kelly around. And that was my Lou Kelly rankings. I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments box below who you would like to see me rank next. And do you know what, guys? There are still quite a few characters to choose from. So get typing. Okay then, guys. Well, thank you all for watching today's video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.